Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General Reading. This is for the element of water. Uh, so if you are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of March uh, 18th through the 20th, excuse me, 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. King of Swords. The Six of Swords. And the Four of Swords. Okay, so I feel like something's going on where maybe you were feeling shy about something um, and maybe you were trying to suppress your emotions. Um, I feel like maybe there was something that you were hiding and there's a need for you to overcome, you know, these emotions or these insecurities. Uh, definitely seems like You've been overthinking a lot and it has paralyzed you in some way. Uh, there is also a need for you to trust your intuition because it seems like you've been doubting yourself a lot. Um, I do feel that whatever has been holding you back, you are going to come out of your shell. And, you know, I feel like you are also going to feel passionate about pursuing something that you want to pursue. Um, I feel like, too, this is about a passion or a dream that you have. Maybe you were like, it's too late, or maybe you were thinking that you can't do this or do that. Um, maybe you've been also listening to other people's negative opinions about what you can and can't do. Um, but now, I don't know what happened, but it does seem like you get out of that. And you start to believe in yourself and believe in your abilities or your talent um, or you believe that something is possible and I feel like you just start moving towards that. Um, I feel like you also, whoever was doubting you, um, you end up finding supporters that are actually encouraging you or uplifting you um, and telling you, yeah, you should do this. You should do that. It's, you know, you're talented this. So I, I kind of feel like you're going to get like a nice pep talk. And, you know, you feel very motivated and like you can accomplish something. Um, this in a love situation, same energy. I don't know if it's you or your love interest. I, I kind of feel like it's a love interest that wanted to come forward, but they are, they were hesitant. Um, they were insecure, but I feel like this person is getting out of their head and they're deciding to pursue you. They're deciding to come forward. Um, it could be an earth sign. It could be an air sign. Could be another water sign. But either way, I feel like this person feels confident in pursuing you. Matter of fact, I feel like more than one secret admirer could come forward. Um, and you're like, oh, I didn't know, like all of a sudden it seems like these people are coming out the woodwork. So I feel like there could be multiple, uh, offers or, you know, just several people flirting with you or giving you attention. Something's going to happen regardless. That's going to boost your ego, boost your confidence, um, and inspire you in some way, shape or form. You also may have been feeling like you give up. Um, if someone has been in some sort of physical therapy, um, I kind of feel like you were doubting yourself or thinking that you, you weren't going to be able to move again or do this anymore, whatever it was that you're, you were into and something happens that, you know, you just kind of push yourself and the next thing you know, you are active, you are able to move forward, like literally, so I'm getting that something may have had to do with physical therapy too. Um, looks like you've been having to mentally prepare yourself for some things, period. 
definitely could be someone coming towards you. Um, and I feel like maybe this hasn't happened because up until this point, you haven't been ready. I'm also getting something about a trip. Yeah, I feel like something's going on where um, maybe you're going to be taking some sort of trip. Now, there also could have been where someone had a fear of flying. Um, and I feel like someone is overcoming that fear. But I, I feel like there's going to be a trip or some sort of traveling this weekend, too. Um, and I also feel like something is a secret. Like you might be um, either you're going to like a, a hidden gym or some sort of hideaway type place or you're not telling people that you're going on a trip. It also could be that someone is coming to visit you, but they didn't tell you or they didn't tell other people. I feel like more so they didn't tell other people. I feel like you're expecting them. I'm also getting uh, something going on with the parents and the child doing something together as a family, especially if it's like something outdoorsy, camping, fishing. Um, I feel like there's something that you're going to do with the family this weekend where you're spending time outdoors, especially if it's nice in your area. Mm. Okay, I feel like there's also someone that's been maybe practicing some sort of manifesting. And I feel like either you or a person has been trying to um, attract the other person or lure the other person, but mentally, like someone's just you know, meditating, sitting, sitting with their legs crossed and they're envisioning you coming towards them or you and this person just being in a life together. So I kind of feel like someone is trying to pull you into their life. Um, also could be something that you are doing. Mm. I also feel like if you've been in a state of mind that's been overwhelming that you're coming out of it. There could have been some sort of emotional turmoil that you were going through and being very nervous and just uh, dealing with a lot of anxiety or paranoia and I feel like you're coming out of that. You also may get some sort of confirmation that you've been waiting for or you're gonna get some sort of response that you've been waiting for. It's funny because I'm getting um, someone coming towards you with a dark vehicle um, or like a truck and the other person has a, a light colored vehicle or like a sports car. somebody um, if you are a delivery driver um, I, I feel like either your your family a family member or a friend is going with you someone's taking uh, their loved one on deliveries with them they're like come with me you know I gotta go pick up this stuff so if you're some sort of delivery driver for like uh, Postmates Uber Eats or whatever I feel like you have someone tagging along with you The person coming towards you romantically is really easygoing, really grounded, but they might take a long time. They move really slow. In fact, their way of flirting can be very passive or overlooked. This person's quiet and shy.
Yeah, you definitely may have an earth sign that is uh, kind of lurking, trying to see what you're up to. I feel like this person, of course, it, they don't want to get caught going through your pages on social media. They probably probably follow each other, but they're being very quiet about it or you don't really know that they're into you, but they are. Be careful about jobs that are particular about what you post online because I feel like they have a mole. They have someone who specifically checks on people's pages to see what they're posting and how they're representing the company. Um, especially too, if you apply it to something, they're probably trying to see what type of information they can find out about you. Mm. Okay, I feel like I'm hearing the word moonlighting. Um, I don't think that's an issue nowadays, but um, I think that was like a term used when someone had like another job and they didn't tell the other company that they had like a second job or whatever. And I guess the term was like moonlighting because it's like at night you would go off to this other job. I think, <laughs> I think that's the reason behind it. But I'm getting something like moonlighting. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to tell your other job that you have a, another job. Um, but that's kind of the energy that I'm getting. It could be too because of the type of job that it is. Like maybe someone has a reputable job by day and then like something else unconventional at night. I feel like your intuition has been telling you you're getting warmer about something. It's like you're getting warmer. Like if you've been trying to guess or figure something out. I also feel like someone's child may be wanting a pet and I don't know if you're not into pets but I almost feel like somebody's gonna get a fish or it's like hey look what we got instead of a dog like if you can prove to us that you can take care of this fish then maybe we'll get a dog you know something like that um so I'm seeing because I feel like something is more like a pet fish but it's like you had to trick them into liking the fish As far as flirtation, yes, there is someone that's flirting with you, but they're doing it in a way that's passive or indirect. And I do feel like your intuition is right about something. This person's been trying to get your attention. I feel like if you work with this person, it's been some sort of playful banter between you guys. I also feel like someone is pretending. So like if somebody is like touching you and pushing you at work or whatever and joking with you, calling you names, um, making fun of you, you know, just playfulness. I feel like they are really just trying to cover up the fact that they're into you. So someone is kind of acting like a comedian. There also may be an air sign that is keeping tabs on you. This person may literally live at a distance. Um, hmm. I feel like this, you might want to be careful with this person. Somebody's in a relationship. 
and I feel that they're attracted to you. That's why they stay distant and they think you're a distraction. They know that they've invested too much in their relationship to let it be anything else. I feel like someone's also being invited to someone's house, party, or gathering. And you go to it, but you're like, you know, you have to behave a certain way. Because even if you guys act different around each other at work, it's like, of course, when you're around their partner that you guys can't be the same. So I feel like someone is on good behavior. Something's going on where there's a change coming up in your life and you're needing to just go with the flow of change instead of fighting against it. Um, I feel like you are really stressed about the fact that something's ending and that there's a new be beginning for you, especially too if you're about to move or if it has something to do with somebody uh, getting over their fears of flying for the first time. Mm. I feel like someone also has anxieties about dying or death anxiety where you feel like you're about to die or like your life is in danger. Um, you may be someone who has dealt with that before. You might get like a little trigger, but I feel like you're going to be okay. Okay, I feel like you are being very guarded and very ca um, cautious of who you trust or who you share things with. Hmm. You may be questioning what someone's motives are or their intentions. Why is this person being nice? Why is this person doing this or that? Somebody also has a habit of self-sabotaging their own happiness. Could be you or someone around you. Hmm. I'm trying to see, I feel like somebody's eavesdropping. Huh. Uh, if you are eavesdropping, I feel that you might take something the wrong way or you might not have the, the story straight. So make sure you're able to have like a conversation with a person instead of eavesdropping. Because I feel like you're not going to have the story straight. It also could be happening to you. Someone was eavesdropping on you. Also, about any type of upcoming trips, I feel like there's going to be a slight delay um, by about maybe four hours to four days. All right, so let's see what additional messages there are. All right.
my additional mess messages for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have 4th Chakra Archangel Raphael, Angel of Strength, Goddess of the Moon, Overall in, uh, Energy Financial Constraints. Okay, so something's going on where there's a feeling of emptiness or lack of something. I feel like this could be talking about your finances and maybe you're getting anxiety because your finances are funny. Um, but I also feel that emotionally there's an emptiness or a lack of something going on. Um, and it, it could make you emotional. You could find yourself like crying out for help in a sense. Or maybe there's someone around you and you're like, okay, I think they're crying out for help. Someone just wants attention or they're doing this for attention. Um, I do feel that you are needing to trust your intuition. Something is, you're being asked to follow your heart. Yeah. I feel like you're needing to follow your heart. That also may be why you've been feeling some sort of emptiness or void because I feel like you need to follow your passion. Um, in a love situation, definitely seems like you might be feeling your love interest crying out to you if you have like that telepathic bond with them. It's like you can feel their emotions. Maybe you are experiencing heart palpitations or having dreams or premonitions about someone who wants you or needs you. I really feel like someone needs you. Um, I feel too like a couple of things. For one, someone is acting restrained or reserved um, because they don't want to come off as being sensitive uh, or emotional. And the other thing I'm getting is that the angel of strength is with you to help you overcome something that you're afraid to go through. And I feel like you are being encouraged by your spirit guides. Um, it's like something is massaging your back and whispering and telling you to go on and you can do it. Like, I feel like you have invisible forces around you supporting you and encouraging you and giving you strength to do something. Giving you strength to confront something that you're needing to confront. Um... Again, I'm getting something about having a dream or some sort of premonition. You might get a loud or a clear message about something or a warning. You also may need to let your guards down um, and open up to someone. Uh, or let your guards down and allow someone to come in if you've been coming off too guarded or too blocked. I feel like holding in all that energy is doing something to you. Also, just look at things that can help with the heart chakra just in case it is blocked or overactive. In a sense, it seems like it's overactive. Yeah, you might need to do some sort of releasing. Some sort of secret may have come out too, or maybe it's getting ready to come out. Maybe you can feel something, like I said earlier, like you can feel that change coming. You can feel that something is about to come out. You're like, I feel like somebody is about to reveal a secret, or I feel like I need to reveal a secret. So whatever that is, I do feel like it's going to help you by releasing this energy. 
um, and something is going to help your heart chakra if it's blocked or overactive. All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.